If you're using a hydroxyapatite toothpaste, here's what you should probably know about the particle size. For reference, these straws are gonna represent the microtubules within your teeth. If your toothpaste doesn't tell you what it's using, it's probably using this, which is a micro-sized particle. So it's quite a bit bigger. Uh, it still can remineralize because it actually sticks to the surface like this, just not the best type of remineralization. In the middle here, we have the nano-sized particles. So these are 10 times smaller than the microparticles. These guys actually can fit in to these microtubules right here. So they do a better job remineralizing your teeth. There's one more step though. Lastly, you have the rod shaped nanoparticles. So these guys are the same diameter basically as the normal nanoparticles, but they have a rod shape. And the reason why a lot of companies are using this in toothpaste is because this is the same particle size and shape as is produced in your saliva. So these guys can fit into the microtubules a little bit better. You got more surface area to bond there. So they do a little bit better job plugging up these holes and gaps within your teeth. So this is what our body chooses to make for a reason. And studies show generally that these are better at remineralizing. So if you're using a hydroxyapatite toothpaste, definitely look for the rod shaped nanoparticles. I've tried a lot of them. My favorite is this one called Ali Cleanment. Has the rod shaped nanoparticles. It also has 10%, which is awesome. Definitely look for a 10% nano hydroxyapatite toothpaste.